What's happening today, people? I'm back out in the woods. Finally, it feels like forever. It's only been like two days, though. So, uh, uh, I'm back up here on the hill where I was at in uh, the part one of my shelter building. And, uh, me and Rangers up here walking around over there. And, uh, I got my saw fixed. I broke it in my last video, so I got it fixed. I have actually got a little bit bigger saw. It's a lot cheaper saw, but it's bigger, so I'm gonna try it out. See what it, see what it does. And, uh, and yeah, so I'm gonna continue to work on my on my shelter over here and uh and just go just go with it i don't really have a plan so i'm just gonna film and do what i need to do and put it all together and hope it turns out good so that's the plan and uh also too don't forget to subscribe comment and all that good stuff and uh stick around to the end of the video i've got some pretty pretty cool uh announcements or i guess you don't, not really announcements uh i got something i want to tell you guys but uh stick around to the end of the video <clears throat> and uh i'll let you know what it is and uh get your guys opinion and as usual i'm gonna get to it so I've got these logs already cut up. I'm gonna use these for my wall. And uh, I actually cut them up last time I was up here. I just didn't, uh, I broke my saw and and uh, didn't have time to really film it or whatever. But anyway, gotta get these on the wall. medical helicopter. So, as you can see, I've got a big gap right through here on both sides of this knot. So, what I'm going to do is take my axe and try to cut this knot off. That way this will lay down flat. Now, in the last video, I told you I'd explain what this string was. Okay, so this string, this paracord, is where I want the top of this wall uh so as you can see right here i'm i'm level with where i want my wall okay and if you look here i like about uh i'm gonna say six inches eight inches so this i'm gonna have to get this log up here without raising it on this end so I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that. So here's my log that I'm gonna to use to fill my gap with. Uh, so the gap that I have is like this. This log is, in theory, outer dimensions are square. So what I'm gonna do is cut this down to where it's like this and uh, to where to fit in there. So I'll show you what I'm talking about.
And also, too, doing this is very dangerous. Uh, you're at high risk for, for glance. So if you do this at home, please don't cut your foot off. You see how that's coming out like this? You swing too hard, it's gonna come right out and right into the side of your foot. Whew. Getting some heat up in here. Oh. $20 GoPro battery laying on the ground. That's not good. Altoid cans are the best. I keep all my junk in there for my camera. Keep it in my back pocket. Or my side pocket. So now, I thought I felt naked. Didn't have my cap on. So now I'm gonna try to get this in here and uh, see what it looks like. So that is much better. I can take small logs, small sticks, cut, and fill these gaps in. I've got one there, and I got one there. But overall, this made my lot my this made my wall level. So uh, okay. So there's that. Now to go to the other wall. I'm gonna get both walls laid up and then I'm gonna go back and fill in the gaps. So here's just a little just a little glance from the other side of what it looks what it's gonna look like. So there's my back wall right there. And uh, my other wall is going to go right there. So I have to move all of this stuff out of my way uh, to get to my other wall. So uh, I'm going to get on that. little quick little quick uh, quick tip here for you uh, I'm sure most of you all, of you already know this but this is just maybe somebody don't know it so I figured I'd show uh, when you're out in the woods and you're doing this type of stuff and you're building and you know you're you're bushcrafting you're probably not gonna have a tape measure chances are if you do then uh, you're probably not bushcrafting. So, uh, how to make a tape measure in the woods. What I do, like uh, for, for this wall, for this wall here, I need to know how long I'm going to cut my uh, how long I'm gonna cut my logs. I don't have a tape measure, but
but I have this and this is just as good. So find you a straight, relatively straight stick. So I want my log to go from there to here. So what I do, take, lay my stick down. Uh, want my log this long. Tape measure, bushcraft style. All right, so I got my measuring stick. I'm gonna lay it on the end down there. So that's how long my log needs to be. And I got this, uh, I got this saw. Uh, it's uh, Black and Decker. Black and Decker. Uh, it's it's pretty sharp. It's nothing like my Sven saw, but it is longer. This is 21 inch. So uh, I actually found this at a flea market. Uh, five bucks. I said, five bucks, it's worth a try. If nothing else, then I can just make me a saw and use this blade. See how much of this poplar here I can cut. I got my first, uh, got my first log in here. I've got, uh, I've got another one there that's already cut. I just gotta get it down here. And, uh, get it built on up <clears throat> and once I get that done I can start cutting my my timbers for the roof so uh, so yeah that's where I'm at first log second one I need this pine tree for my wall and I'm gonna try to get it to go that way I hope Also, too, guys, when you're out in the woods, and you're cutting down trees, you need to be, you need to be aware of what you're doing. You need to be aware that even though this tree is, you know, this big, maybe eight inches through at the bottom, eight to nine, 10 inches through, that this tree is very well incapable of killing me. So uh, you need to be aware of that. It don't necessarily have to be a gigantic tree to kill you. Uh, always have a clear path to get away and never ever take your eye off of the tree uh, even if you think that this tree is going to go this way you know it may lean that way a little bit and hit a limb and come this way 
So you always need to watch this, you know, watch the tree when you're cutting it and be safe. That way you don't get, that way you don't get dead. But anyway. down and I only hit that thing like twice three times it is hollow in the middle look at this that axe handle there's a hole exactly the size of this axe handle right there and that's another thing too that you need to be aware of if you're cutting a hollow tree I was not aware of that that could have been that could have been really dangerous extremely dangerous so uh, just be aware of what you're doing guys we don't want nobody getting hurt guys I'm not gonna have my I'm not gonna have my bed real high so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna build this way up because I'm not going to be walking back in here. My bed's going to be here. So as long as I can sit up on my bed without hitting the roof, I should be fine. So, uh, so yeah. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to secure these, these last three with the paracord like I did the ones I showed you earlier. And, uh, We'll get started on the roof. We'll work on the roof now. So I got this pole here, which was already here from my other, you know, when I tore it down the first time. So uh, what I'm gonna do is try to level off the top of this a little bit. That way that my poles that I lay on here will have something to grip onto. That way they just don't slide off. But uh, but yeah. And the easiest way to do that is just make little little slits and uh, and then you can come back with your Come back with your axe. And knock them out. See if I can get some of these to come out. Guys, here's just a little quick example of how I'm gonna do my roof with the 
with the notch the way that I cut the top pole so I figured I'd show you how I'm gonna make it stay together so I'm just this is how wide I need this gap to be so I cut one here and one here and then cut me a couple in the middle next thing I'm gonna do is take my axe and get them and get them out of there if I can keep it from moving yeah there we go just like that it's relatively smooth and uh, then we'll put it up so this is going to be my first piece of my roof and you can see how that went down over that See how it sits down over that? That'll keep that from uh, from sliding down that way. So there's what it's going to look like in a nutshell. Bunch of these all notched laying across here, the span of the of the shelter. So uh, yeah. So that's going to be it for today, guys. I've done about uh, all I can do for today. It's starting to get dark, and I still got to hike back out of here, which I got a flashlight. But I've got a few things that I've got to I've got to do. But uh, I've been here three hours, three three and a half hours. So I've got I've got a lot done, and. Uh, and things but uh but yeah i said at the beginning of the video i wanted to wanted to tell you guys that uh tell you guys something so uh i'm working on right now last night I actually finished uh my design my logo for mountain survival i thought my microphone was unplugged but uh, I actually finished my logo last night for uh, Mountain Survival, uh, my YouTube channel, and uh, and my Instagram and my Facebook page and all that stuff. So uh, I am thinking about maybe having it printed on some T-shirts. Uh, and possibly maybe some uh, I've got a friend I know a guy that can make some really awesome vinyl stickers so uh, I may have some stickers made too but uh, the logo and the logo itself is going to be black just plain black uh, I don't know what color shirts I'm going to get. Uh, if y'all got any cool ideas of what colors black would show up on really good. I know like dark green and stuff, black's kind of hard to, to see. But uh, but yeah, I'm probably going to have some, some t-shirts made. And maybe some stickers, I don't know. Just doing this, you know trying to help my channel and and everything like that and uh but uh but yeah and i'll probably i probably won't get a lot of shirts at first 
I'll probably get like maybe 10 or 15, maybe 20 first time. And probably do like a like a giveaway and give a bunch of them away to you guys if you're interested in if you're interested in if you want one. Uh let me know in the comments if any of you guys would be interested in getting a uh a mountain survival t shirt. Uh if nobody wants one then there's no need for me to spend spend the money to have them made. But if you guys are interested in them and you would like to have one, let me know in the comments and uh I'll pull the trigger on that and get it in the works. Uh but yeah, that's gonna be it for today. Uh I'll be back up here tomorrow, so you might get this video tonight. Uh, and you might get another one tomorrow. I don't know. Hopefully everything works out. You might get three this weekend. If I can do that, that would be great. Because if I can finish this this weekend, I'm going to camp here next weekend. Uh, if everything goes good. So cross your fingers for that. Um. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Y'all are great. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, uh, and all that. And I'll see you guys next time.